Congresswoman Speer, Ambassador Nersesian, Representative Avetisian, friends and colleagues. My name is Amasya Zargaryan. I am the Grants and Development Manager for the Halo Trust USA. But before this, I had the uh, distinct privilege of spending two years in, in Nagorno-Karabakh, uh, uh, 2017 and 18. And I'm proud to say that in 2018, our men and women, thanks to US assistance, were able to put more hours into mine clearance in Karabakh than any single year before. And our goal for this year, of course, is to break our own record. Um, but looking back much further at everything that has been achieved uh, since this program was set up in 2000, I'm especially proud uh, to be part of it, not just as a HALO employee, but as an Armenian American myself. Um, I'm uh, proud because, for me, humanitarian mine clearance in Karabakh is almost a perfect example of the scale of positive change that U.S. assistance can bring about um, in a couple of ways. First, this is the kind of aid that has had not just a tangible, but a transformative impact on an entire society. A few years ago, there was an assessment by USAID um, that estimated that more than 80% of the entire population of Karabakh has benefited in one way or another from HALO's work there. And that's especially meaningful because as uh, Congresswoman Spear mentioned, Karabakh historically has had one of the highest civilian accident rates in the world from landmines and other explosive items, um, at times comparable to Afghanistan. And a quarter of those victims have been children. But sustained clearance and education efforts, of which the United States has been the number one supporter all these years, have meant that have been uh, steadily reducing the number of casualties uh, over the years. Uh, and the second way that this is, that U.S. Assistance, assistance has been transformative is that it has catalyzed so many private donors to step forward. Um, and I don't mean just from the Armenian diaspora, but many other non-Armenian individuals and foundations um, have contributed their resources and their backing uh, to this cause. Um, ultimately though, it's the United States that was there since day one. Uh, it was the United States that made it possible to set up this program in the first place. Um, and I'm confident that it will see this endeavor through. So on uh, behalf of the HALO Trust, um, for, we're very grateful to have this group here together in this room. Um, and we hope very much that this support and this partnership and this legacy will continue until the danger of landmines is no longer a daily reality for the people of Karabakh. Thank you.